is let's foil like a multicolored background so let's get a bit of the uh, disco ball uh, let's get a bit of the gold one on there as well um should we have a little bit of plain silver and a bit of plain gold? Yeah, let's get a bit. Are these all paper craft ones? Yes, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my scissors, she says optimistically, hoping she hasn't lost anything, and just cut a few strips of your foil. So I wanted to show you how you can be using different colours and different um, styles of foil all on the same project so oh he's my gold one off here right let's have a couple of bits of gold on here as well so we've got a couple of silver uh, same sort of size couple of gold as well a uh, couple of the this is a lovely one this one here so just like to a, clarify that sorry, can you you could you use the multi-service on paper if you wanted to or would it not work yeah, on paper yeah, yeah, so there's nothing to stop yeah, you no, okay not cool. at all. basically uh, the multi what you'll find is the multi-service is designed to to adhere at a higher temperature. Right, okay. So you'll see whatever it tells you, if I go on to here, multi-surface foil rolls in the instructions, tells you the timings for your foil stamp dies and the stamp and cut, and it's all for PU leather and cotton fabrics. So that's when it tells you to use the multi-surface foil rolls, and you'll notice every one of them, the heat setting needs to be on high. Okay, okay. So you've got the low, the medium and the high on here. You're going to use the high. Wonderful, because Danny had asked that. I think maybe he's got a few a few of the multi-surface rolls he's wanting to use up. Brilliant. So yeah, yep. absolutely. By can. all means, use them. Yep, brilliant. Right, what I'm going to do, Joe, is I've cut a load of those now. I'm going to use this lovely uh, background. This is your snowflake one. My foil press is at temperature. So I'll let you zoom back out so you can see the foil press. I'll pop this on. Now, for your background, before we go into here, uh, I'm, go I'm going to go into a cello bag, so it's pretty much like acetate sort of thing. So if you look, 30 seconds. Can you see that there? 30 seconds. So I'm going to go on with this, and I'm going to go up to 30 seconds, all the way up. And once we get to 30, give it the start. Now, while that's starting, I'm going to start laying some of these across. So can you see, you want to make sure that they are just overlapping each other a little bit so that you don't get any gaps in your foiling there. So I'm alternating silver and gold, and then I'm overlapping them as we as we're going down. So we can get you like do this with all of your foil stamp dies, or is it just the background ones that this would work with? All Sarah? of them would work with anything, Joe. Okay, don't look fantastic. It's going, it's going to look amazing. So let's see. No, I can't get it all done before the. I was just going to say, do you think I'll get it all done before <laughs> the beep goes? Oh, I needed to explain to you as well what I was doing. Oh my life! Right, we'll get these. We'll get these put in place. Oh, look at that. You, that was good luck, not good management, that. Right, I'm going to foil it onto a cello bag. I've got a cello bag here. What you need to do if you're foiling onto a cello bag is cut a little bit of cardstock just to go inside the cello bag. So I'm just going to do one side of it. So I'm trying to make sure I don't get the side. There we go. So the cello bag goes in. You're going to pop that on there so that we can do the foiling onto here. Then I'm going to pop my lid on and we're going to pull and go through. Now, mm, I mean, I'm hoping you, if we say 30 seconds, you should really be sticking to 30 seconds. I've probably took an extra 10, 15 seconds there that I didn't mean to. If we get any over foiling, at least you'll know why. So try and have everything prepared ahead of time. But this is going to look pretty spectacular. So we lift this off. Uh, I'm going to turn this here. So if I take this out first so that you kind of get the, the magic as it comes off, and as I peel these off, can you see that there's Amazing. all foiled multicolored snowflakes onto the front of our cello bag? How amazing does that look? And that is for our candle to go in. So that is going to go into there. And we've got that fabulous candle, which is now all wrapped up. So I've done one side. You probably want to do the other side. In fact, let's, yeah, you probably want to do the other side. That's going to look all right from the front.